if I told you those who can write can also play? On a fateful evening in April, the Daily Targum newspaper and the WRSU radio station met for a basketball game that would live up to all of its hype of its site, Jersey Mike's Arena. For DP, 66-59, Targum lead with 30 seconds to go. Basaya, across the timeline. Does Boston Gideon Fox beyond the arc? Trailer is Gordon. Basaya, 20 seconds to go. Deep shot. Willis ice it. It does. Basaya, cash money. 15 seconds to go. That should be all she wrote. Brett Hall in 10 seconds. Left wing to Langlois. Fights through. Jack Basaya of the Daily Targum finished off a double digit victory for his team with a half court dagger. Some are saying that it was the greatest shot ever put up at Jersey Mike's Arena. Well, not everyone. But let's take it all the way back to the beginning. To start off the day, WRSU GM Alex Carminati got it all started with a bang with a raucous introduction from the crowd and PA announcer. Next up, a six foot junior from Then fellow WRSU teammate John Hartnett got the crowd off their feet with a bass rendition of the national anthem. With the game underway, the Daily Targums' Eddie Kalegi had an electric first quarter to help give his team an early lead. RSU. RSU ball. Again, 12-minute quarters here. Actually, it's going to be Targum ball. A quick up-the-head pass for Bisea, and Kalegi lays it in for two. His right hand to try to get it in, it goes off the rim, and it's taken across by a crowd hamel. Targum with the ball, down 4-2. Kalegi banks it in off the glass. Eddie Kalegi. Gordon running the point on this possession. Targum bench chanting. Gordon works it left side. Give it for Crowd Hamill. Back it out, Kalegi. Right side, Jay. Is good. Man, Eddie Kalegi has really been pulling up. He's got seven of the Targum's nine points at the moment. And from there, the route was on. Team Targum increased their lead bit by bit, leading to a double digit victory by 12. Even though one team had to win and one had to lose, it was a legendary game with great performances by all, the shot making, defense, and intensity all the way through, with those who showed up when the lights were at their brightest, including some unexpected contributors as well. There was even an injury scare, with WRSU's Max Sanchez cramping up late in the third quarter after attempting a block. He was seen walking off the court under his own power after the game with his teammates supporting him. The Daily Targum acting head coach Josh Myers closed out the game in his own words. I got a few words for you guys. Josh Myers here. It's a parade inside my city, yeah! That's right, Josh. It's a parade inside your city.